What's up new people, welcome to another video with All Source and today we are unboxing the fake version GoPhone iPhone 14 Pro Max. If you don't follow me on one of the social medias above, make sure you follow me on one of the social medias. As always, put up uh, sneak peeks on what to expect and all sorts. And as always, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video, you'll actually be notified. So in this video today, I'll unbox the fake GoPhone 14 Pro Max, whatever it's called, and um, we'll check out the operating system. And if there's any other videos you want to see, then let me know in the comments. I will be making shorts and also YouTube videos and also TikTok videos. So like I said, make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above. So hopefully we'll get this opened. I've not actually checked it out. As you can tell with the box being still sealed. Don't want to cut myself here. Um, I've been told that this box wasn't actually made yet, so I just got sent out the phone. I don't know if you actually put it in the box, so we're gonna find out. No, it's not. It's just in. A, it's not in the original packaging box. But yeah, here we are, people. Your first look at the fake Goofon 14 Pro Max. Here we have it. Check this out. Looks feels kind of heavy. Let's see what colour we got. I don't even know what colour we've got to be honest. Wow, we've got nothing else inside the box here. And here we have it. This is the GoPhone 14 Pro Max. Apparently it has not got a notch now. It's got a uh, pill um, pill notch if you know what I mean. But as you can see here, it looks really nice. This is the gold version. Uh, let me give you a few more better shots of this. There we have it. This is the gold version. There's a few slight changes. Uh, we have bigger camera lens uh, on this fake version. Everything else is in the uh, same place or even similar place as the previous iPhone 13. We've got the volume rockers, the silent loud uh, SIM card tray. We have a um, USB lightning connector, a speakers, mic, and the power button right here. I've actually blacked out the uh, logo because this is the fake version. It's not the original. This 3D sensor looks fake, but we're gonna find out. And as you can see, if, we, uh, if I show you uh, a close-up version of the camera lens, you can tell that these two are fake and that one is real. But if you wanna see a teardown, then let me know. I'll actually, or well, might do in this video, you never know. But let's see if this actually has any juice in it and let's see what kind of notch we get. So hopefully you will actually see um, it blurred, but there is a logo there. Here we have it. It took a bit of time, but as you can see here, the pill notch, uh, it's got two. Um, this is because in the early leaks of the iPhone 14 Pro Max, people thought um, that the notch will actually be like this. You can actually change it from one pill uh, to a separate one. But as you uh, saw in the uh, keynote that it's actually one pill, but it does have um, features where it uh, expands it's called the island something like that i'm not sure uh, but yeah as you can see here we have it you've got a big bezel at the bottom swiping it up and there we have it you've got the sound of the uh, unlocking and it's pretty much changed compared to the previous one the screen twitch sensitivity is really good let's see what shortcuts we have we got your notifications you have your shortcuts right here We'll hold it in. It doesn't actually have a 3D touch or it doesn't have the uh, feature. And let's hold the brightness and as you can see brightness and does the dark mode work? Yes, it does. Let's go back. Let's go into settings and as you can see it's in dark mode. Let's swipe it down. Let's hold it down again. You don't get no vibration or anything like that. True tone, does that even actually work? 
I have no idea if it does. So you got your do not disturb, uh, your screen lock, airplay, torch. That is it right there. Alarm, which is definitely looks the same as the original. Even the calendar looks the same and the camera. So you, it doesn't have actually a uh, 0.5 zoom out camera. It just has a zoom in which we'll check out the camera quality uh, later in the video. So as you can see, you got your FaceTime and also going into settings, everything looks exactly the same. Uh, the about of this, it's not even in iOS 16 because the pill version doesn't work. So as you can see here, but there was one thing to check when you actually have your, um, was it this or was it the uh, stopwatch? So you've got your stopwatch on and obviously it doesn't go to the top because this is the fake version swiping it back up and as you can see let's go back into clock and it's it stopped already <laughs> so let's check out the widgets so holding the screen on and as you can see here you've got your widgets on your home screen you can actually press plus and add more widgets which we have here so let's Press this one or even this one. Does that even work? And there we have it. So you can actually add, add widgets on this, which is pretty cool. That's one good feature. Uh, let's. I'm just gonna see what other features we can actually do because with these fake versions, half of these don't work. I'm also gonna download the Geekbench app to see if I can actually see what kind of uh, results we get and what chipsets they are actually using when it comes to this fake iPhone 14 Pro Max. But overall, not bad. Uh, looks really nice, quite a bit heavier. I wonder what's inside, but we might have to actually open this up. An hour later, I've actually found out what the real specifications are with this phone. I've reset it to factory settings. So you will see some changes when I boot it up. So let's hold in the power button and as you can see it's a bit different it says welcome there is a code you can put in on the phone app and it will actually bring up the details you can actually put in whatever you want for the um, storage the boot up logo you can change color so that is what they are doing when it comes to changing the information of this phone everything about it is fake but what we did well what i've done is i've actually downloaded an app which you can actually tell you a bit more information on what this phone is about so once it powers on i will actually show you i tried downloading geekbench but it doesn't actually work um there were no actually Geekbench on the App Store. So as you can see here, you've got the App Store here, which only has a few apps, which you can still download. And as you can see, it's really old because it just still says, we love iOS 10 apps when we're on iOS 16. So they're, they're the apps you can actually still download, as you can see, still download WhatsApp, but we don't want that. Another uh, shortcut, if you hold it up, it will give you the shortcuts, which we have right here. As you can see, that's one good, uh, feature there and you've got the animation when it comes back to the home screen to download the apps what you have to do is go into play store which we have right there and download the app so i've downloaded this one and this one actually tells you a bit more information about this phone so this is what we're going to show you in this video today and in the next video i'll be doing a camera test and a tear down both in the same video so make sure you stay tuned for that and subscribe i just wanted to show you the video boot up logo uh, unboxing and just a bit what this fake iphone 14 pro looks like so you don't get scammed when it comes to purchasing one the main thing you got to watch out for is this uh, bezel big bezel at the bottom and this two cut out uh, pill notch at the top so as you can see uh, this is what it says at the top uh, apple pro for max 14 uh, you got marshmallow 6.0 android that is what is actually running it is a two core is it a four as you can see they're only idling so it's a four core which is really really low uh, it is internally eight gig when it said 512 uh, so that is definitely a lie so the device let's go into the device uh, the hard where it's running chip mt6580 which is really really old it is really slow when you keep using it and the back gets really hot uh, as i was using it to see what shortcuts i can actually use but it's uh, pretty basic and really slow so it's a, a version name marshmallow as you can tell i did it back to factory settings and this is the information it actually gave me so if you can understand it you can understand it if you can't then it's 
there's no point in even buying actually one i won't be using this myself cpu mediatek eight cores uh, mt6580 uh, location no idea what that means network uh, storage as you can see right there analyze it's only eight gig four gig or which three four gig was already used uh, i'm not sure about this 3500 mah battery we have to once we do a tear down we'll see if it actually says that on the battery but that is the battery display if that information is um suitable for you then that's what it is this display display is sorry a uh, camera got it and as you can see here the back is 12.6 megapixel and the front is 8 megapixel but i'm pretty sure that's a lie we are going to check it really once we do a camera test and i will definitely see if it is a 12 megapixel at the back temperature and sensors apps and tests so this you can do a few tests on these as well so yeah that is about it for the information of this phone uh, i am going to try and use it to see what else uh, showcase we can get and i will actually let you know in the second video but overall they have definitely mimicked the um as well wow check that out so that is a notification on there so they've definitely mimicked the ios and this is probably the ios 14 or um it's not the 15 or the 16 probably a bit earlier uh, but overall um I wouldn't even buy this phone there's no point in wasting your money it cost over 100 pounds uh, it doesn't mimic the 14 pro max but it, you haven't got the camera qualities the um software qualities uh, upgrades and everything like that it's really slow it gets really hot as well once you keep using it i've actually used it to see what actually uh shortcuts and other features i can get and it just gets really hot at the back uh, but yeah stay tuned for the second video where i'll be doing a camera test and also a teardown and a few of the features um with this phone so yeah if you want to see any other features other videos let me know in the comment section below the way you have to switch this off is the power and down button slide it and it will actually go off from there and you can buy bye thanks again for watching and i will see you again for another video